Yo, how's it going, my amigos and amigas? Welcome back to a brand new video. Will Smith, everyone's favorite actor, the nicest actor on the planet, until he slapped Chris Rock in front of 100 million people on YouTube alone. If you've ever felt embarrassed in your life, maybe you fell down the stairs in public. Maybe once you were just walking by and you twisted your ankle and you thought that was embarrassing. Oh my God, they saw me fall. Oh my God, they saw me twist my ankle. But have you ever been embarrassed in front of over 100 million people? So after the slap, I did talk about Will Smith and how disgusting and awful and stupid that was and now four months later he finally publicly recorded himself apologizing to chris rock and other people i've seen some of it and all i could do is shake my head i think i'm a pretty fair guy and i could appreciate the fact that number one the video didn't start with the sigh <sighs> I'm sorry guys, I have failed you. I would be giving props to him like, yeah, Will Smith, thank you so much for addressing these questions. Four months afterwards, better late than never, I guess. Why didn't you apologize to Chris in your acceptance speech? Um, I was fogged out by that point. It's, 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 it's all fuzzy. I've reached out to Chris, um, and the, mes the message that came back is that uh, he's not ready to talk. And when he is, he will reach out. Um, so I will, I will say to you, uh, Chris, I apologize to you. Uh, my behavior was unacceptable. And I'm here whenever you're ready to talk. Not bad. Not bad at all. In all seriousness, putting all the jokes aside, I think this is the best way to go about it. Of course, if I got slapped in front of millions of people, if I got slapped in front of five people, I would feel so embarrassed. I've seen people being slapped at restaurants or arguments. I'm like, I don't know how you can do that. That's in front of five people. What Will Smith did is slap him in front of millions of people. Anyone from the age of four to 94 saw you bitch slap Chris Rock. And that is insulting as a man. Oh my God, Seriously, if I got slapped as a man, I would take that too hard. I will never, ever, ever speak to that person because you humiliate in front of my kids, my wife, my mom, my dad, my brother, my sisters. I'm going to be the butt of the joke until I fucking die. And everything I've done, all the amazing accomplishments and comedy specials, all of that is going to be overshadowed by the Will Smith slap. Have you heard of Chris Rock? Oh, the guy that got bitch slapped by Will Smith at the Oscars. Oh yeah, yeah, I know, I know, man. Is he like a comedian or something? It was humiliating. You're a little bitch, you're my bitch now. I owned you and I owned you in front of Hollywood executives, people with power. Everyone around here knows that I owned you now. And it was completely uncalled for. I don't hate Will Smith. I, I just think he's cringe now and he's been for a minute. Will Smith could legitimately kill a child, eat him on Instagram live, and that will not take away the fact that he's a great actor. I Robot is a certified hood classic, one of my favorite movies of all time. Men in Black, 1997. The Pursuit of Happiness, a movie that made me cry when I don't cry at all in movies. No matter what, Will Smith will always be Will Smith. And from what I could tell, he's surrounded by shitty people who just want to take, take, take and not give enough love back. There's no reason why anyone should be in a marriage or relationship when you're not happy. And yes, I know other factors come into place. The kids, the bank accounts, the properties, the cars. If you're not happy with the person you're with or you're married, it's time to start doing something about it. I want to apologize to Chris's mother. I saw an interview that Chris's mother did. And, you know, that was one of the things about that moment. I just didn't realize, and you know, I wasn't thinking, but how many people got hurt in that moment. So I want to uh, apologize to Chris's mother. I want to apologize to uh, Chris's family, uh, specifically Tony Rock. You know, we had a great relationship. You know, Tony Rock was my man. Um, and uh, this, this, is, this is probably irreparable. Um, I spent the last three months um, replaying and understanding the nuances and and the complexities of what happened in in that moment. I don't know about you guys, and maybe I'm just nitpicking here, but I just don't like, and I have a hard time connecting with someone when their apology is an AK 
there's like three or four different cameras spinning around just like a professional crew I don't know at least to me it doesn't feel like it's real and once again I could be wrong and Will Smith could be speaking from the heart or he could be once someone says cut he's like okay perfect so can you get me an extra grande cappuccino please hurry up before I slap you again <laughs> I don't care if you're a multi-millionaire like Will Smith or just a regular micro niche celebrity I cannot take your apology as serious if I see professional lighting and I see makeup and I see all these two to three different camera angles. It just feels too overproduced. I don't know, is that just me? I'm not gonna try to unpack all of that right now, but I can say to all of you, there is no part of me that thinks that was the right way to behave in that moment. There's no part of me that thinks that's the optimal way to handle a feeling of disrespect or, or insults. The thing here is, and I don't think he completely understands it here, but I just can't get over the fact that Will Smith sees this as an insult or an attack on his wife. You literally have a comedian. I mean, this might be a crazy concept to some of y'all, but you have a comedian at an award show. And what is a comedian supposed to do? I'll give you five seconds to figure that out. What is the purpose of a comedian? The point of Chris Rock being there was to make people laugh, to crack jokes at people's expense. After Jada rolled her eyes, did she tell you to do something? No. Um, it's like, you know, I'm, I made a choice on my own, from my own experiences, from my history with Chris. Jada had nothing to do with it. Uh, I'm sorry, babe. Um, I'm gonna say sorry to my my kids and and. Oh my God! Why are Will Smith? I feel so bad for him. He seems like a good guy, and I don't wish him harm. I actually wish him nothing but the best. I don't. It's like I fucking hate Will Smith. And I hope he fucking dies. I'm not saying that, but I just really hope he gets the love and the help he deserves. And I feel like people are taking advantage of his niceness and kindness. He needs a better circle around him. And that's just an outsider's perspective. I don't know Will Smith. Probably never meet him to be honest. It just seems like a hurt soul. I mean, apologizing for defending your wife. What? <laughs> I mean, Jada's pussy better be the best. Well, I, I'm like magical all of us, um, to all my fellow nominees. You know, this is a community. It's like I won because you, you voted for me. And it, it, it really breaks my heart to have stolen and, and tarnished, tarnished your moment. Um, I can still see Quest Love's eyes. You know, it, it happened on Quest Love's uh, award and you know, it's like, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry really isn't sufficient. It feels like you really struggle to apologize to Chris Rock or maybe just the way this is produced. I think a simple one camera could have worked way better. And I'm trying to be remorseful without being ashamed of myself, right? I'm human and I made a mistake and I'm trying not to think of myself as a piece of shit. Um, so I would say to those people, I know it was confusing. I know it was shocking. Um, but I, I promise you, I am uh, deeply devoted and committed to putting light and love and joy into the world and, you know, if you if you hang on, I promise we'll be able to be friends again. I hope he's speaking from the heart. I hope there isn't some fucking director <laughs> or fucking script. Right? I doubt it, but you never know. You never know with these people. You can't trust any celebrity or YouTuber or influencer. Like, don't. Don't even trust me. Don't trust anyone. But it's what it is. I think it's the best he could do. Granted, it's 45 months late. And after the slap, everyone was cheering for him. And then he won an award. And then he went to a backstage or an after party after the slap with Jada. So how sorry is he really? If he felt like shit, he would have gone home. I thought it was kind of mid. You know, I wish him nothing but the best. Um, I hope he gets the help he needs. Uh, let me know what you guys think of the apology. And yeah, I love you. Peace out.